Hello, my name's Tim Sweeney, Dean at the College of the Albemarle. At the College of the Albemarle, COA cares. We care tremendously about our young people that are experiencing cyberbullying throughout our community and our schools. As a result, with that, we have produced a class here at the College of the Albemarle for our parents and our young people to deal with cyberbullying. In this video, you will hear from a school counselor what the schools are doing to help support our young people. We also have talked to an executive director from a nonprofit from the National Center for the Prevention of Community Violence, as well as a parent and a student who have been victims of cyberbullying. As we're well aware, it used to be for many parents, do you know where your kids are tonight? Today it is, do you know who your kids are interacting with on the internet tonight? That is very crucial. Parents have to take more responsibility and control of cyberspace within their own homes. We are willing to help at the National Center to provide the resources and for what you need to look out for as parents and also as students to really stop the plague of online violence against all of us. Hi everyone, my name is Erin Blair. I'm a professional school counselor for Chesapeake Public Schools. I've been a school counselor for seven years. And what we are seeing is an increase in student conflict stemming from social media use. Increasingly, our students are getting technological devices at younger ages and therefore gaining access to social media. And because everyone is braver behind a screen, we're seeing a lot more of negative interaction, negative commenting, and just overall mean things being exchanged to one another that spills over into our schools during the school day and causes greater school conflict. So as school counselors, what we try to focus on is helping our students to engage with each other socially in an appropriate way. We practice through conflict mediation when we're seeing some of these conflicts, and we really focus in on restorative justice, trying to get our students to express how they're feeling, as well as take ownership for the things that they're doing that are contributing to the problem. Just as parents, I think especially kids under the age of 16 is know what they're doing. Be, be there, be invasive, see it. Talk to children, it is your place. I've had other parents say, you know, this is their business, this is their world, it's their privacy. No, it's not. You know, there are crimes perpetrated over social media. Parents need to see what's going on in our children's lives via social media and not only see that but then be engaged, have conversations with their kids about this, showing the kids what's real and not real in terms of the images being depicted and also really talking to them honestly about what the risks are. Be really careful of what you put out there because all of us have said something in our lives that someone else could have interpreted in the wrong way or felt hurt by. So just being sure that you're you know, creating positivity and even if it does seem funny to you, know that it might not seem funny to everyone because you don't know what someone is going through. When these people said negative comments about my body in a joke manner, which might be a joke to them, it hurt me because I had experienced my own body issues. What we need is a community effort. We need parents who are going to allow their children to have these technological devices to be monitoring their social media usage. I did a survey with my students this year and was alarmed at the high number of students that I found who have social media, but also don't have their accounts set on private settings. And so it's not just the student to student conflict, but now we're looking at internet safety and other people being able to get into these students' accounts and create more conflict and more drama. So we really need to work together as a community to be monitoring what our students are doing online, to be helping them to learn appropriate social interaction, and to just be spreading that message of being kind to one another. Um, because of this cyberbullying and this social media usage, we see some of the conflict turn into isolation in the school. So again, just focusing on that positive social interaction and monitoring the social media usage is really, really important. We provide resources through our Green Zone Online Prevention Program that will allow parents and students to know when they're entering cyberspace and warning signs. 
We also provide a lot of information through our program called Actively Caring for People, where we teach character and how kids can actually be kind to one another, and we extend that to the online community. The College of the Albemarle would like to share these resources for our parents and children who have experienced some type of cyberbullying. Remember, your child's school is a tremendous resource. As school counselor Erin Blair shared with you, the schools have support systems and can work with you to help prevent bullying. And our nonprofit organizations, such as the National Center for the Prevention of Community Violence, offers information on actively caring for people, along with school programs that promote civility called the Green Zone. And finally, the College of the Albemarle provides continuing education classes for parents on how you can monitor your child's use of the internet. Remember, COA cares at albemarle.edu.